Hi, I'm Octavio from Learning Alias and in this tutorial I will show you how to apply the techniques I show you in the previous video. Also, uh, how I practice these techniques or how I used to practice because uh, today I, uh, I use the techniques I learn from this kind of exercise because once you get the eye you get the gymnastic and the, the practice give you you will you will no longer need to do the grids or think about how to build your ellipses or your perspective because you already have the practice so let's start with a circle in the plane and just to show you that it's uh, that ellipses is is, <coughs> is, uh, is a circle in a 3d view basically so you have a plane which is the square at the first so from this plane I through the parallel lines will be my perspective to, to the point and then I will apply the technique to duplicate the edge of the of the, um, the ellipses I, I have on, on this perspective so imagine this exercise is something I did a lot just to see how the, the ellipses are going to be on the side of a car for example so I wanted to make the exact proportion of the, each plane just to look similar in every in every plane of this in, the, in this perspective each plane it has to look similar but you know it's a 2D drawing but in the 3D the idea you get of the, oh, oh it's okay it's a continuation of this the same plane here again just to show you the same the same technique just duplicating the, the plane so just to show you how this technique will, will help you to create a real proportion drawings. So this is just messing around with planes. So So this is just for just for have some exercising, you know. I made a lot of this, made a lot of sheets of paper with this. So sometimes you will get you will need a ruler, a ruler, but then you will be able to do it by hand like I did here it's really important that those angles I I, I wrote as a 90 degree need to be 90 degree in real in a 2D in the 2D view it's not a 90 degree here but it need to appear that it's a 90 degree you know because it came from a 90 degree angle. For example, here, that's not important. So here, I will make a, <clears throat> a box with planes, and also I will add ellipses and show you how to. Just this is practice. This is something you. You need to do for 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 example this is to be a wheel or maybe it could be 
anything but as you can see here I just build a box and then each it face it's filled with a with a circle This is a very good exercise to you to practice. As you can see, you have uh, the axis, major axis and the minor axis of the ellipses. It's always a 90 degree. And this is uh, something that you have to respect. So, I will take uh, proportions. You know, this is a side of a car, for example, or maybe it's a plane. But I will take that same circle into the square, replicate, and create a proportion for a car. This would be a wheel, three wheel distance between wheels. And then I will try to make a, a car on that grid. So this is something you can do just to get right the proportions to get the the exact the exact direction of your perspectives so this is something that you can you can do easy I'm using an iPad but you can maybe do it in Photoshop, then print it in a very low gray to then draw it or to then draw in there on, on that sheet of paper. What? As you can see, this is a proportion, it's a side car I made, and I will place it in my plane with a perspective so I have all the lines that I have to follow to get my perspective right so as you can see I will draw in a, draw in a SUV something I, I draw really fast but once you got it right the, you place the plane we're going to start Growing the car. So, first of all, I will connect the centers of the wheels to get the edge of my ellipses, minor, minor axis of my ellipses, and the edge of the car. You know, so I, I know the exact degree of my of my car. And then just everything is drawing. The plane of the side view, it, it will be my I zero. So when you, my Y zero, when you motor car in alias you have your y0 is your side view so it's basically the same so you have everything place it and you can make a real proportional drawing This is something really fast, but once I got the bo the volume I want and the lines I want, I just erase the 
a hide the, the grid to start focus to start detailing the car you know some some lines or whatever I, I really just showing how to do it it's not a it's nothing it, this draw is just a, an example so but I will hide my grid so you can see my now I make it a shadow to bring more realistic. Well, as you can see, I'm finished with, with the details, the wheels, the wheel base, <clears throat> the bell line, some shadings. This is a f really fast drawing, it's just to show you how to. To create something from a box. Well, I'm going to make another so you, you can see the, the details that I use when, I, when I'm building it. This is not a technique I use uh, in my everyday work because it takes too much time, but it's a technique I use when I want to get a really good render and a really good proportion view of the car I wanna I wanna make so sometimes in this case for example it's uh, this you this kind of of drawing I use it for presentation or something that I need to be more precise you know but in this case, for example, I don't have a Y0, so I'm starting with the volume because I already know where the the wheels are going to be. Also, as you can see, I create a curve on the on the birdies on of the of the box because <clears throat> the car is not a square from the top view it has a curve so I'm trying to to show you how to make that so this case is another car is another volume it's It's just an idea. It's a fast, it's a fast draw on the paper, on the on the grid. So then you can hide the grid, and you have you can have the details, the shading, and everything. Also the shadow I have to to paint there. <laughs> So, I hope you like it. This is the last. 
video I want to show you, but practice the te these techniques. Try to to do this exercise. Um, also, make a lot of ellipses in your in your drawing. So, bye and see you in the next video.